not the elephant in the room. Sorry, there's this giant tripod right here. I couldn't really figure out how to... I, I wanted this view because it looks kind of cozy, you know? It's my little, like, corner. But I need to be super close to the mic, obviously. And this is, like, the only tripod that it actually works right now. So, yeah, it's going to be in the way a little bit. I'm sorry. But we'll be holding on books anyway, blocking it. So it's not like it'll be that big of an obstacle. But, yeah. I wanted to buy a lot more books. But, like, I don't really read them. And I usually buy them in Japanese because it's cool. It makes me feel special. <laughs> but, and I know the main reason why I did that is because I wanted to be able to read, like, manga in Japanese. That's why I wanted to learn it. So, um, this was, like, a, a way to, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, build upon my knowledge and, you know, use it. So, I don't know why I'm not thinking of the, the sentence I want to say. But yeah, anyway, that's why. So most of the books I have are Japanese, but I can't read them fully. I can get some words, like we know that says Pokemon, Pokemon, the Pokemon, the Pocket Monster, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just get into the books. I kind of want to go in order of what I bought, but let me see if I can. Here we got Steins Gate. This is the first manga I bought. Manga I bought. Uh, man, Steins Gate changed my life, though. I mean, so every, I think every, every book we're going to be going over, I should have a video separately about maybe I'm like dodging them or something. Something cool, something relaxing. So I probably linked some of them below if you want to see more in depth about the video or the books because I kind of already talked about them, but gonna talk about them again just not super in depth but yeah this is this is the first one we got karisu on the front just super cute look at her eyes got mayuri for the second one mayuri that's my favorite cover and then we got karisu again number three and i kind of like it if you look at the art like you're kind of almost okabe looking down right and then mayuri's like eye level and then they're kind of like eye level again, but you see it's okay, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I, that's my interpretation of it. But yeah, these are all Japanese too. This is the first one I ordered from, I think I ordered this right from Japan, some one of the like comic books, not comic book. Actually, I think it was like a comic book store on eBay. And they should, still should have some. I don't think the manga is as good as the, I guess, game and the the movie or the visual novel and the show the anime but i just like to look at the art and i don't know it's just something i kind of wanted to have for my collection look at that face but yeah i love how like tapping on it too the books are just like such a good shape i can't explain it yeah, you can take off the all these books too you take off like the cover art kind of and Oh, it's so soft. I don't know if it's like a... I don't know. It's cool, though. The paper's fascinating. That's why I like Pokemon cards and stuff. But yeah, that's these three. The first one's like, uh... Uno, dos, tres. Ichi, ni, san, yeah. I don't know what I got after that. I think it was the Death Note stuff, but the Death Note stuff's all behind there. So we'll just do Kimi no na wa. We got three of these too. I think this is the full, like, uh, version. Even though it, I don't, I feel like it should be much longer. But yeah, it's pretty. This book's cool because they open up with some really nice, colorful scenes. There's Mitsuha. Ne-kun. <laughs> Such beautiful artwork. Nice like book to have too. Let's see the cover. Yeah, this is cool. It's just a nice cloud. I, I feel like yeah, just having them in the collection is awesome. I think uh, these are pretty easy books. Easy, like kind of beginner, like manga to read if you wanted to like get started. Uh, if you're like an English speaker, you know, and you wanted to like learn a little bit. I 
I was trying to read a little bit of this, but then I kind of forgot about it. I haven't been doing too much Japanese studying lately. But yeah, I think that's one of them. Uh, Yatsuba, yeah, that one always gets recommended. I was reading that online a little bit, but... Uh, again, I just kind of forgot. Didn't really have too much time. I got a lot of Pokemon ones because I got, like, some deal on them or something. And just start buying them on eBay. It's kind of cool. Look at the back. There's, like, this, like, flap thing. So if I can undo it, you can, like, take it off, I think. Why is it not coming off? Oh. Yeah, but it's kind of cool. Pokemon, Pokemon should be pretty easy to read, too. Relatively, you know, to other stuff. This is, I guess, the Gold and Silver series. There's Pikachu. I love that. Chonker. He's got like a fishing pole, I guess. I'm not sure. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, this is the eighth one. I got a lot of random ones. We got like the eighth one here. We got the ninth one. It's got Erica on the back. Erica. Not the super kawaii art, but it's still Erica regardless. Let's see, she has like a bow or something. There's file plumes, yeah, she has like, is that a bow? It's a bow, but it's got something on it. It's probably like a poison arrow or something. There's bald plane. It's a baldy. Yeah, I haven't really touched any of these yet. Or like, you know, looked into them or read them. I think we did a video about, oh, Jasmine, Jasmine's in this. Oh, she's so cute. I like her when she got her Steelix. It's just so cool. Steelix is one of my favorite boys. Oh, is that Ickly Buff too? Wow, I don't think I looked at this one. Nope, hold on. Look at Ickly Buff. Oh, it's so cute. There's Smoochum Cleffa. These are some of the cutest Pokemon out there. Look at them. They're amazing. <laughs> anyway, that's that one. Um, so next we do have some English ones. I have one, two, and three. Oh yeah, I do. So we'll start with one. It's like the first one. It's in English, obviously, because you can see it. I think yeah, I read through this. I think I did. Yeah, it's just cool. I don't check out the story. And yeah, it's red. It's not Ash, which is cool. So the story is actually pretty awesome. I mean, I'm not saying Ash isn't awesome, but I'm just saying red's cooler. So we got that one. Then we got episode two. Look at that chonker. So chonks, bro. That one, two. Then this is the third one. I don't think I read the third one. Um, red is improving rapidly as a Pokemon trainer. So it's a competition, but now red must team up with biggest rival blue. Defeat the common enemy. Yeah, the story in this is like OP. They kind of like kill Pokemon and stuff. It's like more intense. Um, I, I, I definitely did a reading of this. Like we read the chapter so, but... So if you want, I'll, I'll try to link that again below. The audio might be a little weird though because this is when I first started doing ASMR. So, you know, it's like a, it's a test phase. But yeah, I, I just didn't want to do too many reading videos because I know it's, it's not like super illegal, but it just feels a little weird. I mean, I don't really think anyone would... would be mad if I did, but I think legally it's just weird, so I'm gonna put these Pokemon off to the side, because we got a lot of other stuff I wanna get to, actually, a lot of, actually we got a lot of Pokemon, let's just continue with the Pokemon, here's episode 7, or, I don't know, I think I bought this one in a Barnes and Noble, because I saw Cynthia Dawn on it in Guard Shop, I was like, I gotta buy this one, yeah, Diamond and Pearl, Platinum one, Team Galactic, Commanders, Jupiter, Mars, and Saturn determined to bomb Lake Verinity. Sorry, uh, Lake rather, Lake Acuity to awaken the legendary Pokemon, Lake Pokemon and dwell in their depths. Ooh. Plus, Mega Bomb, Snow Tank, Growth, Weasel, Gastrodon, Perugly. I never know how to pronounce that. Saravia, Luxray. I think we, yeah, we definitely did a reading of this too. I think we just read the first chapter. Is that like Jupiter or something? Mars? Definitely didn't read. Maybe we didn't read the first chapter. Because I don't remember.
times 12, but then we have some of these. So I got all those books. There's 13 books, 14 books there, and all these for like 50 bucks shipped. I was like, what is this deal? This guy was getting rid of it. I had to buy it. Like, I like Death Note, but I don't love it enough to own all these books. But I'm just saying, like, it's such a good deal. I just had to buy it. Yeah, I got three. No, Death Note's amazing. I just want to get that clear. It's amazing. I'm just saying, though, it, like, I would love to have more Pokemon books and stuff. But Death Note, uh, the, I have three English ones. One, five, and seven. Kind of random, but it's just whatever that person was selling, and I picked it up. So we get to look at some of these. Not a lot of them because they're nice and like in this corner. This is like the 13th. I also have an entire video on that too. Although I think I'm not whispering it. It's one of my first videos. I think I'm just showing stuff. Yeah, so this, I don't know exactly what this is. I forgot, but this noto, desu noto. How to read Death Note. Yeah, I guess it's like more in depth about the story and the characters and stuff. Cool stuff. Take a look at this one. Yeah. If I grab it. Oh, my thing is not. My um tripod is in the way. Okay, some cool co all these cover arts are beautiful. There's L upside down. several times. I mean, supposedly, yeah, this is a much better the like, novel, the manga, because it goes a lot more in depth, like, a lot more happens. I didn't really read it, but I just know it does. I just think it's a pretty powerful story. I love the music, and yeah, I think I've watched this about, like, five times already. I just love the story, and Nishimi is super cute, and I don't know, it's just like human struggles, you know? I feel like we all might have done some stuff, maybe not all of us, but when we were younger that we might have regretted, or I feel like most of us probably done some stuff when we were younger that we might regret, like now. Like, maybe not to this extent for me, let's say, like, he, like, bullied someone and feels really bad, and he's, like, trying to make up about it, but just saying, you know, maybe we said something to someone when we were younger, maybe didn't really mean it, but it just... I don't know, you know what I mean? You just did it for whatever reason. And it's just like redemption later on in life. Like, I don't know, it's a very interesting topic that they, I feel like they tackled and like discussed pretty nicely and kind of showed a story and like someone struggled that most people can relate with. Yeah, it's just a really nice story. I like all the cover arts too. They're just kind of cute. It's all I think. I think all of them have Shoko and or what's this dude's name? Is it not Shoko Nishimiya? What's this Shoya or something? I don't know. Shoko Nishimiya. Oh, she's so cute. So sad. Nishimiya. Let's do one more cover. or something. Man, just love the art. There's some other stuff. Yeah, if you haven't watched this movie, you gotta watch it. It's great. Um, yeah, so the other, there's, that's all the manga, the manga I think I have. I might have some, like, other Pokemon stuff somewhere, but it's not, like, super, like, important. You know, this is, like, the main stuff. But, 
stuff that I really want to get. I mean, I definitely want to get, um, I mean, all the Pokemon, but that's a lot of stuff. The, that, those Full Metal Alchemist full art books, cover, not full, yeah, full art, hardcover books. I kind of want to get some attacks on, Attack on Titan, too. I just, you know, I, if it's a show or something, movie, whatever is good enough, I want to own, like, you know, something I could, like, touch and hold, I don't know, it's just, like, a thing that I have, like, I bought Silent Voice in your name, it's, like, DVD, just because I wanted it, I don't know, it's just weird, but, yeah, so Attack on Titan was really good, so I want to own some of the stuff, the books with that, probably in Japanese, though, again, I don't know, it's just weird, like, I kind of want to read it, or eventually try to read it, my Japanese, again, pretty decent, but not amazing, I have some books up here, these aren't like amazing books. We got Dictionary, that book's good. This book's actually good, but we got some other like books I just randomly bought, but they're not like amazing. But yeah, we're getting, we're getting decent. My speaking is really bad, but my reading is getting okay. You know, I, I can't read these books though, like right now, like with you guys, because I can't even see what that hiragana is. It's so small. To bring O in my face. Kiwara, Kiwara, I don't even know what that is, but yeah, just, I don't have the equipment to, like, I need, like, a magnifying glass to just read it for these videos if we want to do that, but, I don't know, it's just a process, you know, it's fun, I forgot what I was getting at, but yeah, what books, manga, I need, you know, I, I haven't been watching a lot of stuff, though, lately, I really just attack and land. Love is War, I want some Love is War books, because that's just great, like that story. Uh, it's funny. Mm, I'm trying to think of what else I like watched. But I don't remember. This year has been really slow with my or anime of least the last like six month months I haven't really watched like anything. I've just been kinda busy. But yeah, I, I wanna buy more books obviously and I feel like everyone, you know, does like want to buy more stuff but it's like yeah it's expensive not that expensive you know it's, it's still money and it takes up a lot of room like one book it's not like a lot but like you start buying like all that death note stuff there's a lot of books there and it's like that's all space taken up so and it's not like i need all these books it's just like i want them and so it's like yeah, I, I don't really need any more manga manga books right now at all more just like a feeling like a, a desire but I don't know you know I get some more in the future near term or longer term I feel like when I have like my own house or something or like a, a dedicated room where I know I don't have to like transport all these like books and paper then I think it's be much easier being like yeah I'm gonna buy all these books I think, yeah, this is such a good art form, because it's like, God, you can see the characters, but you can still get in their head, because it's like dialogue, you can, yeah, there's no music, though, music to me is important for, like, a story, but yeah, like, like, novel, I mean, we're getting into a whole different conversation, but like, yeah, like, novels, I like how you can read, so getting in to, you can get more in-depth in the plot and in the characters' heads and more of the story. But I like movies because you can see, like, characters' facial expressions. You can see what they look like, you know, how they're acting in the subtle, like, maybe body language cues or something. It kind of makes it more real. And the music, you know, and the timing of certain events. But then this is, like, it's kind of a mixture of both. Where you can see some facial expressions and pictures and maybe feelings. But you also could get inside their head because there's words and dialogue, so you get that type of more in-depth plot. But yeah, anyway, I don't know. Let me know, uh, let me know what you thought of my little book collection. It's it's not like a lot at all, I know, but it's something, it's a start. I got more of my, like, money and space wrapped up in, like, Pokemon cards. But this is like a little side collection I got going on, it's, it's fun. Let me know some of your favorite manga that I don't have. Because I know there's a lot out there. And I should probably... Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind adding some cool ones to my collection. I know, like, Tokyo.
Kyoko and Berserk, I think, are really popular. Um, there's another one, but I, I can't think of the name right now. Oh, well. Yeah, let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed my little collection, Whisper